<laughs> Bye. Hello and welcome to another special treat uh, that I'm bringing for you today. And you're, you're always bringing us special treats. I know. Well, I just care for you all that much. Um, I'm bringing to you the last game for the Super Nintendo, sort of. You might be thinking, well, okay, so what weird, like, what weird platforming game that I've never heard of is this? You know, what weird puzzle game? No, 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 no. The interesting thing about this is for, for such a momentous occasion, the last SNES game in America, it's not just some random game. It is an official part of the, the canon Kirby game. And here's the thing, a lot of people, oh, that's really loud. There you go. There is actually a cutscene, intro cutscene, that I'll let you watch, but uh, as it plays, it's it's not too hard to follow. You can just watch it. It's, as I said, this is uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3, and it is in fact part of the Kirby saga. A lot of people have never heard of this game or never played it. Um, as again, as I said, it came out in, I believe, 1998 which is, I think, two years after the N64 was already out. Yes, yeah, Kirby playing with his little pal who's eating a fish. And then there's this dark, evil thing. You know, giant floating eyeball above Pop Star. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Now, when I say it's the last Super Nintendo game, I know a lot of people are like, Ah, uh, yep, yeah, time to start typing. Well, actually... Okay, now I know that. Technically, it was the third last game in uh, North America for the Super Nintendo. Uh, but it was the last Nintendo published game. The other two games that came after this were not published by Nintendo. Um, one of them was Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Adventure, and the other was uh, Frogger. Both of them ports of other games. So it's not only just that they weren't developed by Nintendo, they weren't even originally Super Nintendo games. It's like, I think it's still fair to say this is the last SNES game in America. Is that Hamtaro, by the way? What is going on here? I don't know. All right. Flowerville or something. Ah, there's that classic Kirby music, though. I'll talk to you in just a second. I've never played this game either, so I have to actually figure out the controls. Okay, jump. Standard thing. Uh. Yeah. Inhale. Uh, okay, you can slide if you hit jump on the ground. Uh, X does nothing. L and R do nothing. Select does nothing. Start pauses the game. Uh, A... Whoa, hello? Apparently the A button summons that guy, but it doesn't unsummon him? But... I mean, at least he's happy about it. He's like, yay! Okay, so you just eat him to... Uh, uh, okay. I was like, here's your partner. You killed him in the very first screen. Good job. All right. Uh, anyways, what I was saying. Technically speaking, I would still call this the last Super Nintendo game because... Uh, I don't know what that is. Like, I got a little... This way. Like, that little star fragment? Okay. I see a special guy. I'm gonna eat him. Aw, yeah. I have attack power. Wow. It, it goes. Okay. We are not kidding with these power-ups. Um, I think I was saying something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, the last Super Nintendo game that was developed by... Because, like, the, the Timon and Pumbaa's adventure, or jungle adventure, or whatever, and... Frogger were both other games, like computer games, that were ported over to the Super Nintendo. It's like, they're not even really Super Nintendo games. So I'd say it counts to say this is the last Super Nintendo game in America. At Hi? Yeah, are you Hamtaro? Because you look a lot like Hamtaro. Uh, okay. Blah, blah. Wait. Now, I can't... Oh, I can't, like, unsummon this guy now, though, because I can't inhale because I've got this power. Oh, you hit select in that. 
that gets rid of the power. Okay. Is there any point to this room? I guess just to see your buddies who are... Again, I don't know anything about this game, so I don't know what's going on. I'm just... Oh, that's how you run. That's good to know. Double tap the... The... You know, the button. How about you, Mushroom? You give me powers? No, you just do that. For the usual. Um... Wow, we're getting... I got a full little star! Look at that down there! Oh, we're... I have to fill up all of these? What? Okay, sure. Ow. There better be, like, a bunch of cotton candy and other random food that I can eat to power up. Well, I will say, without knowing anything about this game, I like that it incentivizes, incentivizes you to destroy these, like, every block you see to get these little star fragments. Ah. That looks important. Let's ditch that. Wow, yeah. Okay, so that, that works sort of standard Kirby. I don't know what this is. Health, all right. Yeah, it's been a very long time since I played any Kirby game. But this is very Kirby-like. Like, I think I say, like, this is part of the Kirby canon. Like, this is Dreamland 3, and it, it is playing just like the other Dreamland games, so. Everything makes sense here. Oh! So you need... Ow. Like, special... Do you need to have the parasol to break those blocks? Or does that just mean the parasol guys land on it? I don't know. Wah! Which... Ooh, one up. I might not know what all the items in this game do. But I'm gonna take a, a guess. Like, if you've never heard of this game, and you don't know what any item in it does... I'll, I'll just take your bets now on maybe what this power-up might possibly do. Oh my goodness, it gave us an extra life. That's not what I was expecting at all. Uh, wow, what are you? All right, you wait there, power-up. Oh, okay. I was like... Oh, and you can do it in the air. That's That's nice. M. I got an M. Maybe like M for max self or something. I know all the other like Kirby fanatics out there who know all the like power ups inside and out are probably like, oh my goodness. You know that M clearly means max floating power or something. Uh, I kind of actually want the parasol though. Give me that umbrella, Ella. Thank you. Um... Oh! I know something I was gonna say. I'm like, do I have anything else to say about the game? No, let's just see what it is. That's not true. I do have one other thing to say, which is, in case you were wondering... Like, okay, well, this is, like, the third last game in for the Super Nintendo in America. And, you know, the other two games were, you know... Timon and Pumbaa and Frogger ports. What was the last game? What was the very last game for the Super Nintendo? Period. And I can tell you because I looked it up so that I know the answer to your question. It came out, first of all, in 2000. So, it, the Super Nintendo had games coming a lot longer than you might suspect. It came out in 2000, and it was not a port. It was a Nintendo-developed game. It was a uh, Metal Slater Glory Director's Cut. Now, what is what does any of that mean? I have no idea. I don't know what Metal Slater is. I don't know what the Director Cut would entail. But there you go. If it, oh, I'm sorry, guy. I done crushed you. Well, you know, I'm Kirby. What do you want? Um, yes, I don't know. I'd be like, it could be kind of fun to, like, play the very last Super Nintendo, like, Metal Slater Glory Director Cut. 
Except that it is, you know, unless there's an, you know, English translation. I don't speak Japanese, so that'd be a very, uh, awkward stream. Like, okay, what are we doing? I have no idea, because I can't see what's going on. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just like a platformer, and then it wouldn't matter, but... I don't know, a, a, a name like that, like Metal Slater Glory. It just, this is invincibility, right? Yeah. I will say, the... The sound is a lot more high quality than the uh, Kirby's Dream Land on the Game Boy that I'm used to the most. Ow. Right, well, now I'm curious. Metal Slater Glory, what are you? I know. I I shouldn't do this right now, but I'm I'm curious. Metal Slater Glory. Okay, so the director cut. So it was a 1991 game. So I guess it was a remake, but. Oh yeah, I don't think we want to do that. It's a uh, adventure game. And there's like I don't know, like there's a picture of like a screen with a bunch of tech. Yeah, we we don't want to do an adventure game, so let's just play that. It could be fun. It it might be fun for like a minute. And then it says, I won't know what it's saying, and, you know, unless you speak Japanese, you won't know what it's saying, and I won't be able to help you. Okay, so what What do you actually do, sir? Besides eat fish in the intro and look weird. Oh, we didn't find all the little pieces of stuff, huh? Well, I want a one-up, so... I got the... Presumably nothing? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. But there were star pieces at the end. All right, I, I want to check something. I'm going to play this level again real quick, like. I can just run through the thing now that we know what we're doing. I guess the first thing is, do these come back? Yes. So you have to replay a level to get everything. Because there was, like, I mean, unless there's, like, some hidden area. Or, like, I don't know, maybe this guy can do something. I'm just... So he kind of mimics what you do? Like... Like, I'm hitting the attack button, and he's attacking. Whereas if I don't do anything, he just sits there. So yeah, he, he mimics you, but... On a delay. And, like, not as much as you do. Like, you attack more frequently, faster than he does. I don't know. Uh, was this the weird room that I was like, what, what's going on in here? Yeah. I just... Hello? What? Why? Why? What? I get, maybe this makes sense if you know Kirby lore. Because here's the thing, I also don't know, like, besides the fact, like, I've never played this game, I don't know. I do not know a lot of Kirby lore. And I know a lot of you are, if you, you, if you don't, you're probably thinking like, oh, I mean, it's a Kirby game. What else is there to know? You're Kirby, you eat stuff, the end, you know. No. From my understanding, uh, the Kirby lore is basically as incomprehensibly baffling as, say, Kingdom Hearts is to an outsider. Like, you know, I, I, well, not really anything since three, but like Kingdom Hearts lore. I knew it because I'd play the games and, you know, do the stuff. But, like, if you're just coming in and you haven't seen everything up until then, very, very strange and baffling. I mean, even if you do know, it's very strange and baffling. Let's not, let's not, you know, kid ourselves here. But for an outsider, it's just ridiculous. And you'll be like, what is anybody talking about? To my knowledge, that's kind of how Kirby lore works. Like, it's, I've seen, like, I don't know, like, a, not a flow chart exactly, but... A picture of, like, all the... <sighs> okay, well, we got all the stars. We got our little ba ba da ba, -ba. Standard happy Kirby noise, so... Do I... Wait. Do I need to... Oh, did that just give me a life? Oh. 
think I thought they were like level collectibles or something. I mean, I'll take an extra life. I'll probably need it, but... Yeah, because that's, that's the extra life sound, so... Ah, oh well. Now we know what the pedals do. We don't we don't have to play every level. Which I guess, you know, that's certainly a lot easier that we don't need to like, oh well, replay every level to get all the star things. All those little star bits. Run, we're done with this now. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I guess I knew that from uh Kirby Superstar saga, that that's what the parasol did, but. I did not remember. Yeah, 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 give me this. It might not be as classic as the Mario invincibility thing, but... You gotta love the, the Kirby invincibility song. Pets. Would you like a blue guy for a friend? No? Okay. So what if I have blue guy out for, like, this part? Interesting! So you can just get a second... So what if I jump, like, right... Yeah, alright. I mean, that made sense, because I was like, you know, what? And then I had no inertia, and was like, jump! But... Ah. Huh. I'm a little concerned about these, uh... Ah, it's still backwards. Uh, these things. Like, why are these these squares above the level? I don't know. We'll 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 find out, I guess. And who are you? <laughs> Bye. What? Okay. Without knowing any lore, I'm going to say we met Hamtaro in the first level, and now we've got, like, Kiki's Delivery Service? Sure. Is this, like... I mean, all right, it hurts them, so... That's cool. No. Back off. I mean, I probably should have, you know, eaten that guy to break those blocks, but... Uh, yeah, all right. Nope, here we go, and wham! And I believe that makes you invincible when you do that. And I think, if I recall... Oh, you get to uh, roll down inclines, that's cool. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it's like in... Ugh. All right, so it's the brush that... Er, the brush? I swear, I know what a broom is. Like, I don't think so, you just called it a brush. It's on, it's on video. No. Um, I was gonna say so. Oh yeah, the rock things. I think in like Superstar Saga, you could uh, the the one that would make you transform. You'd sometimes transform into a uh, like the Mario Tanuki statue. Okay, that's different. Uh, sir, madam, witch, cat, person, whatever you are, can you leave me alone? Also, this looks suspicious. Ah! That did nothing. Hello. How's it going? Please leave me alone. I'm just a rock. Nothing to see here. Ow. I, I want to... It is really hard. Okay. Well, I was, I was hoping that would like break or something. It looks important. Oh, well. I'm not here. Keep going. That's right, citizen. I don't want that firepower, though. Sure. And now we have a like weird Pac Man ghost. Blob and a bird, okay. 
I mean, like, I'm digging this, like, disco festival bonus room, but I am very confused about it. Well, you look like a fun power. Give me that. <gasps> no power! I'd like my money back. Well, how much did you pay? Nothing, but that's not the point. Meow. Better than nothing. Is it, though? Kind of hard to control. Hey. What's in the secret door? I mean, that sounds like a good sound. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Hello? And I... Like, you look like you should join me. But you're not joining me. I'm hitting all these buttons. They don't do anything. Baffling. Utterly baffling. Well, all right. Um. Pa! Slide. And like, how about this little slime fella? Like, that little guy looks sort of like that. Ah, uh, that was like the bird, I guess. What? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. Give me your power, though. Oh, I don't get multiplying Kirby power. That's unfortunate. That's terrifying. Do it again. I hate it. Yeah, that, well. You gotta fall down a little bit more. Fall down this ledge. Ye oh. All right. No more of you. We're here to play cute little Kirby games, not to give me nightmares. Like, too late, buddy. Yeah. I know. All right, we need fire for this part. And yet, we have no fire. Ow! Jerk. Let, let me in this Swiss cheese building. Boom. And a bump. I said a bump. What? Sir, I have to have your power. You have no power. You're just a wa- What are you? No, I wanted to eat you. Oh, now there's a- <laughs> It's like the rock power, only it looks cooler. Now- We've had enough, like, stompy powers, though. Let's... Oh, I wanted fire. Or not. I wanted spikes. Spikes are the best. I love them. Well, hello. How are you doing? Uh, you're just gonna sit there, buddy? We're just gonna stare into each other's eyes for the rest of the day and it's like, yes! Yeah, I'm existing is about where I'm at. That is a lot of fire fellas over here. I mean, I've been worse, but I've also been better. So, you know, it's just doing what I can. That's a busy day. Uh, whoa, they're, they're, they're coming for me. <laughs> Staring at the screen, basically. Do I mean, you know, like, that makes sense, though, that, like, full-on 12-hour day there. Just getting a little bit of respite. Yeah, what is your deal? I saw you before. Why are you hiding? What's... What, what, sir, why are you sad, or scared, or whatever you are? I feel like you should go to bed, but you feel like you had no me time. I very much understand that. Like, it's, it's one of those things that's like, where you're just like, 
I, I'm so tired, I want the day to be done, but at the same time, like, but this would be such, like, like, where's the rest of the day where I get to do stuff, but... Just trying to figure out the timing of this, so maybe if I go, like, right there... Alright, well... That works. I guess he's just that level's thing, just like there were flowers in that one? Or am I supposed to do something with them? I don't know. Uh, the Kirby lore is basically as incomprehensibly baffling as, say, Kingdom Hearts is. 